guys. Hi guys. <laughs> so today I am by Rochelle's house and you guys may notice and recognize this apartment. This is my old apartment, but you also may not recognize it because it looks so much better. <laughs> she did a really, really, really good job in making it her own and fixing it up and making it absolutely beautiful. And today she has asked me to come and help her. Um, we just want to, I don't want to say revamp the kitchen because it's already really gorgeous. But we want to put some of the finishing touches on the kitchen and we're going to do some really cool DIYs today. Um, a lot of things you can do by yourself, especially now that we're all at home and we have nothing to do. So, I'm going to show you the before of the kitchen because it looks absolutely pretty. And we're going to make it even prettier. Yep. Rachel, you ready? Ready to go. Hello. We are about to start, we just removed everything from the cupboards and here's the plan. We are going to be using black oil paint to paint all of the cupboards um, and the shelves as you can see they are still raw wood and they've always been raw wood so we are finally going to finish them with some black and then we have some contact paper to cover the Took over the countertops, so we're gonna do that and then put everything back and finish it off with some decor. And then we have a special DIY that we want to do a little bit later, but I'll show you guys that when we get there. So now we are gonna start with the cupboards. Why does it hurt so bad? So bad to lose something I never Alright, so it took us a while, but we finally finished the painting and this is what it looks like. So it's now black with some touches of gold on the handles. It's looking mighty fine. So yeah. Okay, so we are now going to cover the countertops and I really want to show you guys the contact paper that we got for this. Rochelle in her wisdom and design genius found this metallic looking contact paper and it's really dope so she's gonna have some sterling silver countertops dope so we're about to start skin on mine I think I remember your laugh with mine I 
think I remember that you were mine. And just like that, our stainless steel countertops are done. This is what they look like. Oh my god, they look so good. And you can't see the seams, and that's what we like. Yeah, baby, they look good. So, so it is late. We are sweaty and oily, but day two is tomorrow and we're going to come back. We are going to see if it's possible to change the backsplash and we are also going to do a very special DIY project. So we're going to get some sleep and then we'll come back tomorrow and be back at it again. so it's time for our DIY project so we got these at a wonderful store in Marabella and I'll put the name on the screen right now and they were actually really inexpensive so we got these and we also got some chain this was silver and we spray painted it gold and we also have some s hooks that you can see here and what we're gonna do is we are actually going to create pendant lights out of this and we're going to do that by hanging it and attaching it to the ceiling and then letting it hang using the chain. So let's go. Alright guys, day two of this makeover is a short day. We're just going to do this simply. So Rochelle had this... Um, contact paper that she put on before that spanned the entire backsplash and you all can see what it was covering right but now she feels that it clashes too much with the countertops and the new black that we have so we have some um, black and white contact paper we don't have that much of it and of course we're doing this in quarantine so right now we're just going to take off this contact paper that's here and we are going to use the black and white to just do this portion that is this pattern the white is fine but we just want to cover this pattern with the black and white so we are almost done we just have this portion remaining as you can see we've gotten off all of that and then we're going to do that and we have one more thing to do and we'll move on but before we do that this is what the pendant lights look like as you guys can see they came out really well what we did is we spray painted our chain gold because that is the um accent color that we're using for the space we attached the chain to this hook this actually came with the lanterns so we found that we can open it and attach the chain and then we have some rings here that are just attached to the ceiling so this is what it looks like and they look really great if, if I do say so myself they really make this space what it is so we're about to finish we're almost finished then we are going to contact people just the top part and then I am going to change her curtain rod yes the curtain rod and I believe she's going to change the curtains and I will just style it and make it perfect all right so this is what we're working with this is the size of the full sheet as you guys can see and we've cut it down into strips that are going to fit a little bigger than the size of this pattern piece all right so we want it to come a little way down uh, we're about to start this now you all have seen us done enough contact paper so I am just going to show you what it looks like when it's done but this is now going to be transformed it's been two days and a little bit of work but we have come to the end and I am ready to show you guys the final look you all ready the number you have dialed I 
I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Cause I got it like that, always have my own bag, never needed no man to rely on. Got two good shoulders to cry on. I was alright on my own, till I fell, but it wasn't fake. And I couldn't tell at the time, but I was my own soulmate. It's like I forgot I was fine, let you treat me any kind of way. And now I'm free, you gotta celebrate. You couldn't see everything and stay. That, that I wasn't afraid to say, yeah. If I gotta choose me, I won't be afraid to. If I gotta choose me, I gotta do what I gotta do. When I love you, I lose me. Now I can't be attached to you no more. I like me better when I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back. all right guys so with just a little bit of materials honestly some of them leftovers and a little elbow grease we were able to transform an already beautiful space into something a little more grown up and sophisticated like Roche right so that is what we were able to do um, we didn't really have a budget for this but it wasn't that expensive the most expensive thing was possibly the paint um, and it was just regular black oil paint and the contact paper that we use for the countertops uh, Rochelle bought that a few months before so I really can't tell you the price of it now but I know it wasn't um, regular countertop price or oh, sorry contact paper price because you know you'll see what it is you know so it's kind of special these we drove all the way to Marabella for and the people were so great and they waited for us to reach and we're so happy so they're two different color temperatures and that was a bit of a mix-up but we're not driving back to Marabella so fix it. and we've come to love it you know so let me just show you guys what it looks like when all the lights are off so this is what it looks like and this is the light that it casts in this space and it's actually really pretty so this one is a little more orange toned where this one is a little more yellow toned but that's okay we love it and it does match you know some of her other lighting and stuff that she has so guys thank you so much for joining us um, I'm really glad that Rochelle entrusted me in helping her with her space and I would say this this by no means was just a uh, me thing coming up with the ideas a lot of these are ideas that she came up with herself and just asked me to come and execute it for her um she has a great eye for design and i think it came out absolutely stunning i hope you guys like it as well i love doing these kind of things and if you have a space in your home that you want to get made over or you want some help within coming up with a concept and you know getting it done uh, feel free to hit me up you can message me on my social media pages or you guys can send me an email my email is linked down below and I will respond to you and you know let's make some magic let's let's do something um, thank you guys so much for checking out this video and until the next time namaste babies Hi. From behind, but you won't make an ass of me. That's why I'm saying goodbye. Hopping now, my feelings get to the money. Gotta keep it a hundred. Leaving you ain't really took nothing from me. So don't come looking for me. I'm that bitch and I have 